Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get the Apex Legends game onto your computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So you're first going to start by opening up a web browser, doesn't matter which one, and you want to navigate over to google.com. And in the Google, you want to go ahead and type in Apex Legends, and then PC, download, and you want to hit enter. One of the best managers should come back from a website that says origin.com and the name of the link should say Apex Legends for PC Origin. So you want to go ahead and select that. You want to select where it says get the game, left click on that. Please note the servers are experiencing a lot of high usage, so there's a lot of people that are trying to get this game, so it might be a little bit slower for you guys. However, my download seems to be pretty quick, only about 30 seconds left to go, so we're just going to hold on for a minute. And once it's finished downloading, I'm just going to left click on the file one time to open it up. You might get a security notice, you want to left click on run. You will need an EA login information, so if you don't already have one, you're going to have to create it. So just keep that in mind. You can minimize out of the web browser at this time. I would not suggest closing out of it, just minimize it should be good for right now. Like I said, you will need an EA account, but we are going to have to install Origin on our computers first, so I'm going to select that. I'm going to uncheck everything except for just creating a desktop shortcut, to be honest. And I'm going to check mark that I've read the end user license agreement. It's very important. Last step here. And then left click on continue. It should take a minute here to download or a couple minutes. So just please be patient.
So once Origin's installed in your computer, you might get a user account control notification. You're just going to have to left click on yes there to confirm. Should launch the Origin client software on your computer here. Again, it looks like it's now just finishing up and showing the latest version.
So now at this point, just enter in your email and ID. If you don't have an account, you're going to have to go select create an account right here and just go through the steps of creating an account, verifying it with an email, whatnot. So I'm just going to type in my account information here. Again, this is your EA account. So keep me signed in. You probably want to do that and then just do sign in. You don't have to do it like that, but if you choose to do so, you can. And it should actually open up Origin here as well in a moment. So this might say account is currently in use. I'm just going to select login anyway. Other computers will be forced to log out. I'm not sure of that. There might be another instance that it's open up here. So it looks like since I'm running a 32-bit computer here, it's going to say that we do not meet this minimum specifications. However, it would automatically open it up at this point. So assuming you're running a 64-bit operating system, it should launch the game at this point. Select the Launch Game button on this page to begin playing. So unless you're running an older computer, you should be able to run the 64-bit version of this game, and that's the only version that it comes in. So just want to put that out there, guys, but this pretty much gets us almost all the way to the end here. You can see it already launches the Apex game here. You just would select that and then left click on launch the game. So pretty straightforward process there, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.